So you want to know how to become financially independent in your 20s? I'm going to show you how. In this particular video, we're going to talk about all the different approaches to getting wealthy as quick as possible. Not get rich quick, but get rich right. Number one thing I want you to do in your early 20s is really increase your income to the maximum possible. Now, you could just be getting out of college. You could just be in college. I want you to think about a few ways to increase your income. Now, I want you to try to develop develop skills that really pay a lot. And you can make the argument now, I want you to pick jobs and careers while you're even in college to get your income up greatly. And constantly think about things that you can utilize where it's skill-based that you can make more money. Now, nothing against laborers, but I do understand and I have family and my mom built wealth just by being a maid at a hotel for 30 years. There are trades that pay a lot more money and the more money you have, the more your potential to not only earn, but to save and invest. So I want you to think about maximizing your income. now. It could be done in several ways. If you have a job already, you can ask for a raise, or you can go ahead and move up the ladder by getting a promotion. A lot of big companies have different educational systems that you can utilize to get the training that you need. So move upward or move to another company that might be offering you more. Now, I don't advocate moving around all the time, but that's one method. Or lastly, getting a side hustle. And this is the one people don't like to do, getting a second job. Job. There's a lot of people who had second jobs. My older brother throughout his 20s had two, if not three jobs. My mom had two, if not three jobs, uh, even working on the weekends. So they would work double shifts and then work a shift on the weekends. And I had multiple jobs. Even in high school, I had three jobs. So it brings up your earning capacity. Now, if you're already fortunate to be in a high paying job, great. You want to increase your income and I'm setting you up for something and that's for success. So the more income you have, the better you can save and the more money you can save. So constantly think about increasing your income during your 20s. And the other thing I want you to look at is having skills that are specialized, whether you can make a website, whether you can edit video, you're doing something that's going to set you apart from other people in skill set. Number two is getting out of junk or garbage debt, your high yielding credit cards. Now I'm a firm believer in credit cards. They really helped me invest in and I was able to use those for closing costs and stuff like that, or you know, things that really I could leverage. You know, credit cards are exactly what they are. They're for credit. They're not to live off of. They're not to create a lifestyle. You know, I do understand that sometimes people lose their jobs and stuff like that and ends up happening. They buy something on credit card, emergency nature, but that's far different from living off and knowing that you don't have the money, but you're maxing out your credit card. So learn to get out of bad debt as quickly as possible. The sooner, the better. The other thing is working on building your credit. The same thing. You know, we just thought, talked about getting out of debt. Essentially what you're doing has to do with later at a later time, being able to qualify for an apartment or buying a house or financing a business. All of that in this country and a lot of other countries is based on FICO score. So continue to build your credit through your 20s so that you have that credit in case you need it to be able to leverage into a business or an investment. Now that you've increased your income, tried to get out of bad debt, you're building your credit, what's next, right? Well, stay to the end and I'm going to give you a little bit of a value add at the end. Get in the habit of no matter how much money you're making, if you get a 10% raise, your savings needs to go up. Your savings plan needs to go up that much. If you got a 5% raise, then go ahead and adjust your numbers. A lot of people adjust their lifestyle and I called it the lifestyle drift. You just got a 10% raise, all of a sudden you decide to go out there and spend 20% more. Well, that's going to leave you in a hole. So consistently have a plan that you want to save at least 20 to 30 percent of your income when i'm saying save save to invest to be able to move that money around it doesn't matter where you keep your money but at least keep it where it's safe and you can easily transact with it 
having it under the mattress is not safe. So understanding there are financial institutions out there where you're insured up to an X amount. It should only be there so that you can move your money around. And lastly, the most important one of all is to have a game plan. A lot of times people just, okay, I'm just gonna be saving for the sake of savings. I'm just gonna be working hard for the sake of working hard. But sit down a little bit and plan out. Okay, this is what I intend to retire by. Even though you're in your 20s, how long do you wanna work? If it's, I wanna retire and travel the world at 30, you better get to hustling, right? But at least you have a plan, you know where you wanna go. Whatever your plans are, learn to write it down and address it so that you have something to shoot for constantly and that'll keep you connected to a goal and not just a goal, but write out why you want to get to where you wanna to get to. So like I said, I was gonna give you a little bit extra about your 20. Hang around with people that are already wealthier than you, not based on what their material aspects are. So if they're driving a fancy car, but living at mama's house, that's not the person you want your financial advice to come from. Find people locally and find people within your family that are doing well. Find out what their secrets are, what kind of goals they had, what did they put into place? Chances are you know at least one person that's financially better than you, and you can work all the way up, find more and more successful people. So if you like the video that I just gave you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to learn how to build your credit, go ahead and hit this video to find out how to not only establish your credit, but how to build your FICO score.